everyone. Thank you for joining us for this general community overview. My name is Ann Cardos, and I am the metadata librarian at University of Massachusetts Amherst and the host for today's event. This session is part of a series of onboarding videos for community members. You'll find links to the other videos in the series in the description of this video on YouTube, or see the member onboarding button on the Folio Project homepage at folio.org. Today, we have Rachel Fadlon, convener of the Community Outreach SIG, and we'll be talking about Folio communication channels. Welcome, Rachel. Thank you, Anne, and hello, everyone. I am going to, as Anne said, oops, sorry, I'm going to take a look at the major communication channels for the community. And I want to highlight what we're going to be covering today. We're not going to be taking any real deep dives into any of these. I'm going to be showing you highlights of these communication channels. And a few of these channels, like the Project Wiki and Slack, you will find other onboarding sessions about that will take more deeper dives into those communication channels. Without further ado, I'm going to start with Folio's website. If you go to folio.org, this is the community's main website. This is a site that shows all the general information about the community, who we are, what we do, and shows information specifically for librarians, developers, and vendors who want to learn more and be part of the community. What I do want to highlight on the homepage of the website, like I said, I'm not going to dive into all the pages, but I do want to highlight a few things. If you're looking for general information about the community, you can find a banner here featuring the latest news and articles about Folio, like our first community council and our new govern governance model. You'll find our live Twitter feed that will take you straight to our Twitter account, and you'll find the latest upcoming events where we will be participating in things like conferences, webinars, and Folio forums. What I want to highlight here, at the bottom of the page, if you are interested in receiving the Folio quarterly newsletter, this is the place to sign up for it. There are other places on the website to sign up to, but if you come right to folio.org, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, you'll find the sign up for our community updates. In just a moment, I'm also going to show you what our community updates look like. One last thing I want to highlight at folio.org is our navigation bars. So if you look at the top, this blue bar is a general navigation bar that you should find across most of the channels on Folio, which will enable you to get back and forth between our different communication channels. What I'd like to highlight is developers. It will take you to the site if you're a developer. Our documentation, which is still in the works, but please feel free to take a look at it. Our project wiki and our discussion board. Well, what I'd like to take you to next is our wiki, and we can talk about that. The Folio Wiki is the place where our community stores a lot of our documentation and where our special interest groups or SIGs keep all of their information. So if you look at the homepage, you'll see information like our community council, our product council, our overarching vision, our governance model. So if these are things that you're interested in, the Wiki is a great place to go to find that information. You'll also find information about our special interest groups. So you, if you have a special area of expertise and you want to get involved in the community, this is the place to go to learn about the special interest groups and how you can get involved. And again, I would like to highlight that Peter Murray will be taking a deeper dive into the wiki and where everything is and how to find things and how to get involved in another session of onboarding. So that's our Folio Wiki in a nutshell. Next thing I would like to take you to is our group of lists of lists. So in addition to the newsletter, if you have a specific area of interest and you'd like to get emails to those groups, this is the place to come to find that. If you look, we have lists here for a myriad of topics in the Folio community. If you're a Folio developer, if you're interested in our code of conduct, if you're an early implementer or thinking about implement, implementing Folio, there is a SIG for you. If you want to learn about the Italian edition of Folio, there's a SIG for you. So 
This is hosted by the Open Library Foundation, so you'll see other emails as well from other communities within the Open Library Foundation, and you'll find some Open Library Foundation emails as well in here. The majority of the emails in here are folio, and please feel free to sign up for any of those lists <laughs> that interest you that you'd like to get more information on. The next thing I'd like to, to talk a little bit about is our Slack community. Folio is a large, very active and open community. If there's something that you want to get an answer to, if you're playing around in Folio, if you've created a sandbox and you have a question about how to set something up, if you're completely new and you just need to find the answer to something quickly, Slack is the place to go to find our active members and get an answer. And our community is a really open and friendly community. So even if someone sees that you posted and might not have the answer, someone in, all, in our community will invariably answer you and tell you where you can go to find that answer. You'll see that we have a number of different channels on here and you can direct message mem members of the community. Typically, I recommend if you have a question, you can go to our general channel, post it there. And as you see, we have over 2000 friendly members there. I promise someone will answer a question if you ask it here. The next place I'd like to take you is to show you, excuse me, an example of a newsletter. This is an example of our folio newsletters. The cadence has now been updated to be once a quarter. So the newsletters come out once, four times a year. And you'll see there are information in here like news and press releases. You'll find information here about where we're going to be at upcoming conferences, what our session titles are, um, more information that will lead you back to other channels in the community. So if you want to get that information, again, I'm going to remind you, the easiest place to find that is to go to folio.org, scroll down on the homepage, and sign up to get this newsletter. If any of you out there are into Twitter and you like to go and scroll through Twitter, please feel free to follow us at folio underscore LSP. As you see, we already have over 2,000 followers and we use the Twitter handle to, again, amplify events that are happening in the community, uh, share news announcements, share sites that have gone live. We also take this opportunity to share information about other people that are talking about Folio out in the world. And we also do live tweet during Folio events. So this is where you can find this all on Twitter. Our last community communication channel that I'd like to show you is our YouTube channel. So as I've said before, Folio is a part of the Open Library Foundation. And the last thing that I'm going to show you is that website, just to give you an idea of the foundation. Within the Open Library Foundation's YouTube channel, you will see that there are various subchannels or playlists that have been created for each of the different projects within the Open Library Foundation. If you scroll down to the playlists and click on Folio, that is where you will find all of Folio's recorded videos on YouTube. The recordings that we have on our YouTube playlist include our sprint reviews. You'll see a lot of sprint reviews so that you can follow the progress of, of the project. We also have our folio forums that we do live typically on Wednesdays and keep the recordings here. And we also have various other videos highlighting members of the community in folio, like we've got Texas A&M in folio here as an example. So please feel free to check us out on the Open Library channel on YouTube. And as the last slide I want to highlight, I'd just like to show you the Open Library Foundation. If you do want to learn more about the foundation that Folio is a part of, please visit openlibraryfoundation.org to learn about Folio and other open source community, other open source projects for libraries that are part of the Open Library Foundation. And with that, I'm going to go back to here to show you, I'd like to highlight just so you understand how active our community is. If you take a look 
Folio.org, our website, has had over 150,000 unique visitors visit our site. On Slack, you can see that we've got over 2,000 active members. So again, a great place to go if you want to get live information. On social media, again, we've got over 2,300 followers. And our newsletter already has over 5,100 subscribers. We hope you'll join us on some of these channels and check them out for yourself. And if you have any questions about any of the information that I've shared with you here today, you want to learn more, you've missed a URL, something isn't clear, please feel free to reach out and give me feedback or ask a question. My email is here, rachel at folio.org, or please feel free to reach out to any one of us in the community outreach SIG. And like I said, we're friendly. Someone in the group will answer you. And if they don't have the answer, we'll be able to send you to the person who does. Thank you so much. And back to you, Anne. That was great, Rachel. This concludes our general community overview. We invite you to view the other videos in our Folio community onboarding series by looking in the description of this video on the YouTube channel that Rachel just showed you, or by following the member onboarding button on the Folio project homepage at folio.org. Thanks again, Rachel, for sharing your expertise today. And we look forward to seeing you in the Folio community. Thank you.